Hi, Harley here. Today's the final day of Vlog Every Day in August. And today's topic is kind of a wrap up to talk about what I've learned through this process of vlogging every day for a whole month. I think there's kind of three takeaways for me. The first is that even a couple minute video takes a while to do. My shortest videos were right around a minute. My longest ones were right around 10 minutes. Most of them were, were in the two to three minute range. And even with things this short, it still took me at least an hour, I think for most of them, to get them done and up uploaded. I um, had to think about them a little bit. I had to sit down and record it, which took took the amount of time that the video was. I All, all of the videos for this challenge, I, I decided up front I was going to do just a single take, um, no editing involved. So everything is just start the, start the camera, do it, and be done. But even with that, it still just took, took a long, long time because I had to sit down, think about it a little bit before I actually said anything, um, record it, upload it, and my upload speed's not the greatest. It's not terrible, but it's not superb either. Um, the, I did do a little bit of editing on YouTube where I trimmed the, the front end and the back end to take out usually a couple seconds just of start up and, and shut down. And um, then I transcribed the captions for all of them. And all of that took together, just took, oh, and also, also made a thumbnail, uh, just using a, a simple online thumbnail generator thing. So all of that combined took usually an hour, hour and a half, depending on how long the video was. And uh, so, so even short videos that have very little processing involved still take, take time. That's the first thing that I kind of took away from it. Uh, second of all, the editorial calendar that I made at the beginning was invaluable. It, it was absolutely critical to, to being successful in getting a video posted every day. If I hadn't done that, there's no way I would have gotten a video done every day um, because it, it just required trying to come up with a topic on the spot would have just been overwhelming for me. But I, I before I committed to the project, I actually did make a calendar for the whole month. And I took a lot of inspiration from um, Amy's uh, editorial calendar, some of the things I took off of her calendar, but a, a lot of the things I, I use just as inspiration. <clears throat> I used her calendar as, as inspiration for mine. Um, but yeah, that was critical doing that beforehand. So I knew each day, I, I could actually kind of mull over the topic throughout the day as um, before I recorded it, which I think helped quite a bit. And finally, on my main channel, I write all my scripts out um, and record them using a teleprompter. And this, pro this process of recording every day has validated that for me. Um, I found as I was transcribing that I really can't talk. I have all kinds of frag sentence fragments and run-on sentences, and I don't think I hardly ever have a real complete sentence um, in most of my videos. So, so yeah, this is kind of validated that I really do need to do the scripts and that they really do help in my production value of the videos on my main channel. Um, so I think that's it for this wrap-up. Uh, it's, been, it's been interesting, it's been fun. It's been a little bit of a challenge, um, and but but on the whole, I think it's been a good process and a good learning experience. So if you're interested in maker-related videos, I encourage you to go subscribe on my main channel because I don't I don't really post much on this channel uh, on an ongoing basis. So I do try to post more often there, and things about making electronics, making woodworking and metalworking and computers and programming and all kinds of stuff like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, go over to House of Hacks videos on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description. And until next time, go make something. Perfection's not required. Fun is.